Yeah. In action. Um, okay. So my log line is a shy student faces ridicule from all directions as they tell her to speak up and talk more, unaware of how damaging their words are. Yeah, unaware how damaging their words are. Um, so so uh, what would that, how would that take shape? Like who would the characters be and what are the scenarios we would see in like something maybe four minutes or, or, or less? So um, like my whole idea is based around like feeling like you have to conform to a certain, in, into someone else because people deem a certain character trait that can't be changed as maybe weak annoying, things like that. So I just wanted to show, and like some people don't even know that they're hurting you and that, you know, saying speak up or can you just talk more is actually kind of, like, it's not pleasant to hear. So I just wanted to make it feel overwhelming because it is something that I've ex experienced like on a daily basis and I haven't, I've never been outright bullied, but it is something that I hear. It is something that I've come to internalize so I just wanted to show how overwhelming that is. And uh, Jade and I talked about like how visually um, we could show that and like how we're inspired by the David Schwimmer uh, short, where it's like, it's hard to show because most people don't even realize that it's a problem. So by sort of dragging it out and making it like this long thing, and we could have it with multiple people, but in like short, you know, versions, it's sure. like people will, will see like the cringe and like the awkwardness of it and be like, oh dude, like, come like, what are you trying to do to this person, you know? And so like, that was one idea that we had, but it was sort of hard to think about because again, like a lot of people don't even know that it's a problem. So if we have it like happen in too short of a time period, people might go, oh, well he's just telling her or him to, you know, speak up. That's like a normal thing. So like we had to like visually find a way to like, Put emphasis on that problem, you know. Okay. Who do you, who who can you think of that also would would be strongly, maybe too strongly, encouraging that student to speak? A teacher. Absolutely. And you need to learn how to do this. Come on, come on up front. That that probably wouldn't feel great either. You can do it. Come on, loud, loud, loud. Agonize. That could be fire. That's another. Because sometimes when a shy person reads, they don't read loud enough. Like there's always that one person in the classroom who goes, "I can't hear you." Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're not going to talk loud. You're just like showing these quick scenarios of that same person dealing with all these different uh, varieties, like from that. Come on up, hey speaker, or I can't hear you, or hey, what does this person have to say about it? Right? All of that um, really lends itself to this project in, in ways that are very clear. And yes, it is bullying, right? This is a very, very clear ex cut example. Um, the one that, and again, what's so great about it is that people don't think about it often enough. And that teachers and students, maybe even teachers, are more to blame for this, right? I am definitely guilty of this at certain points. Okay, so um, it's a, it's really really important. I think um, I just want you what you guys should come up with together. Uh, maybe over the break, if you guys can share your own document or continue working on this. Or uh, you guys came up with two or three scenarios just now. How many scenarios are you guys going to come up with, and how are they going to play out? How many actors do you need? That kind of thing, just so we can start getting it ready to be memorialized in a script. Sound good? All right, works for me. Thank you, guys.